Hi guys, I haven't done a video on uh, for saddle making for a long uh, for ages, I suppose. Uh, I, I'm going to show you how to do a, a Nero, how to make one of these. You can buy them pre-molded, um, but I've never bought them pre-molded. I always kind of make my own ones. This one I've got is a dressage one, and I'll show you how to get to it first of all. Um, let me just grab this pattern here. This is. I'm going to show you how to do a GP and a dressage. This is my patterns for uh, an LT23. Hang on, for an LT23. So it's, uh, this is my GP pattern, and it's the panel top. Now, if you don't know what the panel top is, whoop, hang on, let me grab a panel. This is a panel when it's out. In fact, this is a pattern for this pattern. Let me have a look. Yeah, that's a pattern for this. Yeah, so, this is your panel top. This is the knee roll that we're going to make. So I'm going to show you how to get it off the pattern. Right, we take the front of it, I've just got to dance around with this camera a bit here. And what we do is we get a piece of paper. There you go. You see on the pattern, there's lots of like G's and things here. This is just telling me that I got it. And there, there's a K up here and a K here for the knee roll. So I've decided that's where I want my knee roll to be. So you decide where you want your knee roll to be. It might be to start here, it might be to start here. So I'm going to say I want it to start here. And I'll just do a little mark there, and I want it to finish, uh, probably, you can see I've drawn one on here, so I draw it in here, that's where I want it to finish. So I'm going to take a line down there, and that's the shape of the front uh, of the, the knee roll. You can obviously see I've drawn this on for you, just to show you the back of it. So I've got these, and the main thing here is I've got a start and I've got a finish. Okay, let me just whip this round. And you could put top and bottom, I suppose, so that's the top of it. Uh, and down here's the the bottom of it, and then just draw the shape that you want. Oh, I've got a lot of rubbish under here, so draw the shape that you want to, to make it more round that way for you. And that would be your. Uh, this is just roughly, obviously, the shape of it. There you go. And that would be your your near old bottom. Now, if I show you one, hang on. This is one that I'm going to show you how to make up in a minute. Uh, and that's not far off that drawing there. So you can see what I've done here. I've drawn it. I've ended up with a pattern, which is this is my pattern I've just used uh, to make these ones. So that's how to do it. All right, let me just get this out of the way and then I'll show you the thing. I'm showing you, I'm going to show you how to do two here. Uh, I've already cut them uh, out of the solid. So that this is a dressage one. Uh, and this is the, the new roll that we're going to make, we're going to try and copy it. And uh, this is your GP one because it's got the bend in it here. So on the dressage one, what I've done is I've cut the shape out uh, and I'll just show you something here. You'll see, I don't know if it'll show up on camera or not, but you see I put a big X on here. What that is, what the X is, let me just grab that, I'm going to use this piece of foam here, yeah? If you get your pattern and you put it on here, and then you draw around your pattern and lift it off, this will be the true side. So I put an X on here because when I'm cutting with my knife, my knife will wobble, yeah, it'll go from side to side. So this will always be true, but the piece underneath might be a bit shorter, a bit wider. So if I put an X here, I know that is the, the, the size that I want. So you'll see on both my patterns, you see on this one, there's a little X on the bottom here. So that's telling me that's the bottom of it. Uh, we'll just do this one first. Where's the... Yeah, I'm throwing everything away here. And this is the other one. And what I've done is my GP, I'm going to make it an inch and a half. So this is a piece of inch foam. And this is a piece of half inch foam. And I'm going to glue the two of them together. Like so. So now I've got an inch and a half. Uh, and that should do it. The dressage, I've got different. I've cut two one inches out here. Yeah? So this is my two one inches. I'm just going to stick them together. Like, and again, I've scratched these. Yeah, you see I've scratched them and then glued them. And I'm going to stick these together like that and squeeze it. And then you can see the difference in the height of them. Yeah, so the ones, uh, this is an inch and a half, this is two inches. Uh, dressage, I want it just a bit bigger. Uh, it can be a dressage, it can be an inch, it can be an inch and a half, it can be whatever you want. You know, so you've got to decide on the height of it. Uh, if you only want inch, a lot of needles were always done in inch. We seem to make them a wee bit taller these days. Right, so... This is GP and this is dressage. It's much the same. I'm going to show you. So 
if I just put this, that is the front of the dressage, and this is the bit it goes against the rider's knee. This is the front of the GP, and this is the bit it goes against the rider's knee. So what we need, first of all, is a set of compasses. Yeah, I've got my compasses here. And I've set them, I mean, there's, can I just guess these here? But I've set them for, I mean, that's about a centimetre. And for, for us, uh, about three-eighths of an inch. Yeah, so I've set them for. Now, on the front, uh, and not the bit against against the rider's knee, although it looks straight, it's actually not straight. Uh, have I got this one? I don't know if you can see it. You can't now. Nah, you're not going to see it. But this is this is a bit on the front. And what we got to do is we got to take that off down there. You can see your line down there, and it'll be the same for the GP. Take a piece off here. Why we do that is, as I said, I don't think it shows up on this here. But is although this is cut at a slope, and I'm going to cut this at a slope, when you put it into your knee roll, into your panel, uh, it kind of flicks forward a bit. So if you don't take it off uh, the front, then it'll poke out under, under your flaps. So we just take a tiny piece off the back here. And I, I just, let me just do the dressage force. I'm going to do the two of them together. And what I want to do is uh, cut this down an angle. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, so I'm cutting it at an angle. A wedge is a, probably another better word to say. So I don't know if you can see this, it's just a, and it's thin down the bottom here, nothing at all I've taken off, and at the top I've taken the piece off. So that's that one, uh, and I'll do the GP at the same time. So I'm going to take this through, and it's the exact same wedge as on this as I did on the dressage one. Okay, so that does that. Have I got a GP? Let me see if I get a wee GP needle. Yeah, I have. Right, this is GP needle, uh, one that uh, I did earlier. And you can see what it does is it tapers down here, tapers there. This is the front. Uh, and this is a wee one inch one. You can see I'm starting to take stuff off in this one. These are just bits and pieces I've got lying around here. Yeah. So, GP again. You've got to decide on the shape that you want on it. So if you want it um, diagonally here rather than round, I like mine round, cut it that way. And same here, if you want it straight, cut it that way. It's up to you how you want them to do. So I like mine to be round. Now the problem is the camera's behind me, so let me, I'm going to start here, which is about an inch and a half down, and I'm going to take it here, and then, I've got to do it on the board, sorry guys, and as I take it here, then I can I take it round. Now if I just turn it this way, just to show you what I just did here, hang on, that way, you can see what I've done, I'll cut this off, like that, yeah. So I'm going to do the same on this end up here now. So I'm going to start about halfway. I'm going to take it along here. Now I'm not taking it a wedge. I don't want a wedge. And I want to take it down here. Right, that'll do me for that one. And if you look here, there's what I've taken off. Yeah. So you can now see the shape of it starting to come together. Right. Let me get rid of these bits. The bit is against the rider's knee. I now come almost over to the edge here. And you'll see me take quite a bit off here. And here, I want to kind of go follow it round. I don't want to take it straight off. I want to follow the shape. Right, I'll try and show you the bits that I'm taking off as we go. Yeah, and you can see it's thinner at the bottom. Yeah, and you can see, start to see the shape coming together now. Okay, I try and take as much off with the knife as I can rather, because you'll see me use a rasp in a minute, and I don't really want to be rasping for hours. So I get, I carve as much as I can with my knife. So okay, so I've came across here, and then I've followed the shape and I've came round. This is still a bit t uh, too thick at the top here. Hang on. I'm going to narrow it, I'm going to thin this down just a tiny bit as well. Yeah. 
and again you'll see me following the shape there. Alright, so you can see my knee roll starting to come to shape, yeah? Right, so the next bit, just got to adjust the camera a wee bit. So it's going to help. Hang on. Ooh. I want to be working up here. Sorry guys. Yeah, Merry Christmas incidentally. Yeah, I'm going to be working. Let me have a wee look. Yeah, tiny, tiny bit more up. Try that. Alright, so now I use two rasps on this job. I use my little hand rasp. That's just for, for dusting it if you like, just to give it that final smooth. Uh, and then I use my big rasp. Now on my big rasp, uh, you don't need this, but this is what I like mine. You'll see there's teeth on the side. That'll take a lot off. And then I use this piece for not so much off. And then I use this for even less off. So now I've got my shape, I'm just actually going to just fine tune it. Because you can see it comes along here and it seems to drop. And then here is square and then down. So I'm going to start moulding it by hand. See, and all I do is this. Yeah, I'll try and do it slow for you. Can I show you like that? It's not how I do it, obviously. And then I'm doing that move. Yeah. So there we are. I, I, I'm not taking a lot off this, yeah, for the shape, but you can see the shape coming down here, much the same. Oop. This didn't quite work out the way I wanted to do it. Now I want all this off now, it's quite lumpy up and down here, so I'm gonna take this off with the, the big one. down the front here and all I'm doing is making this wedge here so that was my the, the outside teeth I was using there now I'm kind of looking at the shape of it now and it's not bad I mean I think I'll probably want a piece more off here here yeah? but it's not bad so I'm going to come across the top here like that I'm doing this upside then this again I'm doing it for the camera I don't I normally this is me doing it properly yeah but just uh, I think it'll show up in the camera a bit better if you can see me doing it like that and then I can look at the shape. That's that. Now here you can see it's all up and down, there's ridges. So I'm going to again use my big piece here. This is me using the outside teeth. Around the front. And here I'm coming round the corner, yeah. Right, now I'm going on to the smooth piece here. You can actually hear the difference of the noise in it. And I'm just giving the whole thing a kind of a once over. Okay, hey, uh, that's it more or less done, yeah? And that's my, the shape that I want for this, this job here. The last bit is it's all hairy, there's all these things, the, all these bits will show through your leather. So I use a small one just for getting rid of all these hairy bits. So I say, I don't know how much I'll show up on camera. And this is just the final smoothing. But really, I mean, it's, the camera takes probably about three times the time I need. I, I do these, wrap these out really, really fast. So, I mean, I don't see the point in buying them. Uh, and the other thing about it is, if you buy them, then every single saddle out there is going to have the same shape. Where if you make it individual, you have your own design in there, you have something that's a bit unique. There's all sorts of, there's, there's tons of shapes that you can do. So it's just have a look at what other people do uh, for ideas and then uh, produce your own idea off that. Okay, that's it nice and smooth. That's your GP one done. Uh, now we're going to try and do, this is a dressage one. So again, you do the pattern. I've already taken it off the front. Uh, and it's much the same here. If you look at this one, let me get it right way up. You can see here, it, it tapers down here and then just rounds at the top. Yeah, if you go look at them, they're all much the same. If I want more of a taper, I'll do it. The only difference on this one, I've kept it kind of round here. But you can you can take it flat. Yeah, there's no reason. I've got... And I can't see it's in the saddle. Uh, I've got another one here that's kind of flat, but this one is a sound good. There's quite a big one as well, yeah, two inches. But here we go. So much the same is I'm going to take it around here, and if I take it from about here, and then you can see around here what I've done. Yeah, taking that off. Okay, then I'll do this side much the same.
Now I want this to kind of be almost kind of round. So have a look. And there's what I've taken off. I mean, I'll adjust it as I go along, but I kind of want it to kind of be a flat and round as it's a dressage. Okay. Uh, I've already taken off the front, remember, that's important, especially when it's this deep, it will poke out the front if you don't take the front off. Round here I don't want as much off as I did the GP. Uh, oops, that's the front, sorry. Uh, this piece here. So I'm not taking a lot off this at all. Let's see if that shows up. You see I'm taking very little off here. Yeah. I mean, I'll take more off in a minute, but again, I'm following the shape all the way around. Just show you that. Whoop. So again, here. I don't know if that was off camera. I think it was on camera here. But you can see I've just taken a little bit off, and I'm ending up with something that's almost round. Uh, then I'll look at it, and I can look and think, "Yay, that's it's not too bad." Uh, I want a bit more off up here. So where's my knife again? So again, I'm going to just thin down here a bit, which is me taking it down at the bottom. Oh, just let me move that camera a wee bit more on there for you. See if that helps. I don't problem is doing this, I can't look at the camera all the time here. So I'm hoping you're getting enough out of it. So I'm taking just a bit more further down off here, just to try and give me that round shape. So you can see it's coming there. A bit more off the top here. Actually, I'm still gonna carve even more out of this. So I'm just keep carving away until I get the shape that I want. Okay, so you can see here, this is the bottom, and this is the top of it, and this is me got my shape, roughly my shape here, and this is it here. So again, uh, back to my big rasp, we move the camera up, you'll be dizzy with this. There you are, so if I try and turn this way, and I'm going to follow this shape, so I'm making this shape. Try that, that's better, ready? So again, I'm using the outside teeth on these. If you can't get them with the outside teeth, you can you can use this. I mean, most of my students have got these types, yeah, uh, where it doesn't have the outside teeth. So it's so say if you can't get them, it's not the end of the world. But it just takes it just makes the job quicker. So again, that's me just taking my shape. So I'm 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 really doing this shape business, yeah. And you can see just that little tickle there. And all the time I'm looking at it myself, thinking a bit more off here, whatever, yeah. So that's that. Now down this end here, so I turn it round, so I'm going to take it down here. Yeah, I probably want a bit more off. So that's my, that's my, this is a bit to the outside and this bit here in here is the, the rider's knee. Yeah, so this is the outside of it. But you can see the shape of it now, yeah. So again, I've got all these uh, wrinkles and stuff on them. So I'm going to take all these off. Uh, and the same here, you can see I've got ridges. So uh, we use uh, this again, my big teeth. I've got my shape, so now I'm just tidying it. That's that. That's it. Now uh, I'm using these, this bit just a, a bit of a smooth. You can hear the difference in the noise in it. Same for down this side, so I'm going to follow the shape down here. And I'm, you'll see there's ridges, yeah, so I'm taking the ridges off and I'm smoothing the whole thing in. Down there. Right, so now a bit of a smooth, I don't know, let me see, you can see how hairy it is here, yeah. So now I'm just going to smooth it by using this piece here. Smoother. Doing that side. So we're going to use the little hand rasp now, and that just 
it makes it really nice, just finishes it. Now I don't know how much these are to buy, uh, probably I don't know, two, three pounds each, uh, you know, a pair, maybe maybe more. Whereas I can buy a sheet and make, I, I don't know, I don't count it. But let's say a sheet's like 20 pounds. I could use, I could probably make 30 or 40 uh, pairs out of it. You know, so it's uh, a lot cheaper to do it this way. Okay, so that's that's this one done, yeah? Uh, so where were we? We did a little GP one uh, and we did uh, this here. So I hope that's useful for you guys. Uh, and as I say, just let your imagination run wild and make whatever shape you want. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.